Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. If you're new here, my name's Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant. And if you didn't know, this is Maddie. Hi. And today we are going to be doing a Scentsy unboxing. Yep. And if you're wondering, yes, we did get haircuts. I got four inches off of my hair. And I got about eight inches off of mine. And it's very nice to not have all that heavy weight in this heat. So we're loving it. So let's get started. So in this box, Ooh. we have my next level of addiction. Um, this is <clears throat> my second Scentsy Club. So I already have a Scentsy Club that comes quarterly every three months. And I decided to sign up for another Scentsy Club to come every two months. So, this is it. Mm -hmm. um, I do, you know, I, I debated if I wanted to do it because, like I said, I feel like this is like the next level of addiction. <laughs> um, but there is some benefits. Uh, my regular Scentsy Club, my initial Scentsy Club, I share it with my sister-in-law. She gets some items in there. So, we always end up splitting the half-price item. So... I don't really, you know, it's you, we usually get a whiff box and split it. So if I want to get like a brick or something, then I'm paying full price. The other thing is with Scentsy Club, you know, you get 10% off orders $30 or more, but you get a half price item once you hit $60. So at the end of um, spring, summer, which was July, end of July, July 31st, um, I had six bars that I wanted to put in my club. That's enough for a half price item. On its own so I thought you know instead of putting that into my big club why don't I just start a second club and then that way I can still get my always get my bars plus I can get a half price item um, and if you don't know what Sensi Club is it is a free no strings attached subscription service um, like I said there's some perks like 10% off um, $30 or more half off one item once you hit $60 and then um, always get my bar. So that means that after bars are discontinued, Sensi will keep making them for you as long as they're in your club. So these are mostly discontinued items from spring, summer that I fell in love with. All right, do we have everything here, Maddie? Um, It looks like we do. We're all good. Okay. Everything that was ordered was shipped. So, here we have our Mylar bag. Do you oh, want to tell not. them what this is about? Why do they put it in that? Uh, to keep it cooler? Yes. In the summer okay. months, Sensi will put them in this Mylar bag with an ice pack. And that will keep your bars, hopefully, from melting. Oh, smell it. It's a mix of a whole oh, bunch of it smells different. so good. We'll do this one last, okay? Ooh. So... First, um, let's start out with, we do have one thing that's not discontinued yet. I just, I just checked. It's still available. Haven't smelled it yet. Let's go ahead and show them. I, I just wanted to pick up a bar of this to try it. So this is Three Wishes, I believe, and... Mm -hmm. Aladdin Three Aladdin. Wishes. For, like, Genie Three Wishes. Yes. So let me read you the description here. Um, juicy Blueberry, Sugared Plums... Ripe blackberry bursts over sparkling cranberry for a fragrance of phenomenal cosmic powers. I forgot my line. Itty bitty living space. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I read that, it reminds me of that line where Jeannie says, Phenomenal cosmic powers. Itty bitty, Itty -bitty living, living space. space. I love Aladdin. Ooh, I can smell this already. Uh oh. It's like smoky what? with a fruity in my nose. What? Flip it over. I'm not getting smoky. Flip this is really, really sweet. It's really sweet. sweet. I feel like I get smoky. You get a little more tanginess on the bottom. Oh, maybe that's I don't know. That's the really sweet. The first time sweet. I smelled it, it smelled smoky. That's a little smoky. Well, you, well, you know, you might they might have a, a like a woodsy note in there that's not listed. 
Um, I'm just getting like a really sweet like candy type scent. Like candy blueberry, artificial blueberry When I scent. smell the bottom, I do get um, that scent, but... When it is good. Um, some of the notes I was excited about would be the sugared plum, because I love plums, bright blackberry, and then the sparkling cranberry. I was hoping for like an effervescence note with the sparkling. And that might come out more when it's warmed. I think this is going to be a really good performer, like really strong. Yeah. But it's very, very sweet. So I think we'll try this out in the open concept. And we'll let you guys know what we think. Um, and then I'll be able to decide if I want to keep it in my club or not. I love the packaging on this. Look at the genie. Love genie. Is it flying out of pot? Yeah, he's flying out of his um, lamp. Lamp. So that's Aladdin, Three Witches. Um, it does smell, like I said, like it's going to be a pretty strong performer. Since he had an Aladdin collection that was released a couple years ago, it was five different scents, and they were all different, um, named after different songs in the movie. Like, One Jump Ahead was like the market, and that was like an apple fruity one. Mom has hers all the way up yeah, there. Yeah, we should have got it down, but, um... Friend Like Me was the genie one from there, and was that was really good. good. Um, all of them were good, but Friend Like Me was probably my favorite, but they were all pretty light. They were pretty um, light. Arabian Nights was an okay performer, um, same with One Jump Ahead, but like the ones that I really loved on Scent Appeal weren't very strong. So I think this one will be stronger than the ones from the Aladdin collection, Definitely. but we'll see. Um, this is still available on the website, as well as a really cute Genie Buddy and the scent pack. And the cool thing about the Genie Buddy is oh. he actually has... Do you know what I'm going to say? Yes, I know. I know exactly. has um, a spot for a scent pack in his lamp and in the back. Yeah, it has two places where you could potentially put a scent pack. Two little zipper pouches. One in the back, like a traditional Scentsy Buddy, and then one in his lamp. That's so cool. So that is really cool. Um, and like I said, um, as they film this, that's still available. Okay, so let's see what I added to my club. Scents that I felt like I couldn't live without from the um, spring-summer collection. And we'll read you guys the notes, too, because there's not a lot of items in here. So this was a new release. Um, do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? The scent notes? Yeah, scent this was a new release um, in spring, summer. And uh, it is Coastal Sunset. I love this one. Obviously, that's why it's in my club. So Coastal Sunset is described as creamy coconut and sandalwood set the seam for warm amethyst amber. So I love coconut and I love the woodsy scents. I love sandalwood. I love amber. Oh, yeah. Everything that I love is in this. <gasps> that is so good. It's and a little bit sweaty. Oh, it reminds me of lavender. Or something that you would like warm. I feel like it, like if you were sick, I feel like it'd be good for like something to put in your It is a nice yeah, diffuser. Like, mm, mm-hmm. This would be good in oil. Yeah, in oil. This is Sorry. really good. And like I said, it's a little bit sweaty, which isn't bad considering the, the kind of weather I we've had, but not. that's really Can you good. Smell it again? Um I just love that scent. So happy that Sensi will continue making it for me mm. um forever as long as it's in my club, even if it doesn't come back next now season. Now that I smell again, maybe it's not a six scent. Like, maybe you wouldn't have it if you were sick, you know? Like, so they'd help you. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not like a super herbal type When the first scent. time I smelled it, uh, well, this time in this video, I, I feel like it would have been. But now I'm like, I don't think so. I don't know. I'd warm it sick well anytime. I, okay. I love this. Mm -hmm. This is so good. So that's Coastal Sunset. And then... <laughs> next one I told myself I wasn't gonna at first I was like okay I'll, I'll add toasted marshmallow but then I realized I had to add this too because I would just be heartbroken if it didn't return and it wasn't in my club so what what are we talking about here Maddie we're talking about this bonfire beach mom would you like to read the sentence so good 
Um, toasted marshmallow smoldering over a white flint and sandalwood harmonized with salty sea air and ocean spray. So you have marshmallow, white flint, sandalwood, um, salty sea air, and ocean spray. Is this in the fridge? And this is a, the, no, this is also in woods, just like Co um, woods. Coastal Sunset. Mm -hmm. Probably because of the sandalwood. Oh, yeah. But this, this is so good. This is a powerhouse, too. This is oh. so strong. Probably. It doesn't smell that strong on cold. So right now in the girls' room, we have one cube of this with one cube oh. of toasted marshmallow mixed. Oh. And that's doing really Did good. it smell good together on cold? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, this is a great performer. I've kind of been obsessed with this um, lately in my car with a car bar and a... Um, pod. Yeah, that's like old. <laughs> so I stocked chance. up on those because you can't have those in your club, unfortunately, but you can have bars. So Bonfire Beach, love this. And you know, the story behind this, um, when I first signed up for Scentsy Club in June 2020, that was, Scentsy Club was a little bit different then where you could like bundle and save, but you didn't have the other discounts that we have now. So I, I needed to get one more bar to do a bundle and I asked Maddie, what should I get? And she said, get Bonfire Beach. And I was like, eh, whatever. It didn't really interest me, but I threw it in there anyway. And that was a great recommendation, Maddie, because I am in love with this. Mm -hmm. I love this. One of my favorite scents ever. Okay. So, okay. so far we have two woods. Yep. Oh, okay. So the next one is Pink Cotton. Scentsy Bar, of course. Um... Let's see. Pink cotton. Okay, fine. Oh my gosh. Your fantasy on a cloud of clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. That just sounds like a sweet scent. Oh my. Clean cotton, pink berries, and vanilla sugar. Oh. This one I kind of uh, slept on for a while. I didn't discover it till a few months ago. Sorry. Because you're like cotton and, and berries and vanilla. I don't know. But it works. It is so good. I, I like... love this scent. Um, I have a friend who, that she's like obsessed with this. And so she stocked up in um, all kinds of products in this for the end of the season. But she's the one that turned me on to this. She gave me one cube to try, and I put it in my bathroom, and it just blew me out of the water for days. So this is open concept worthy. This is great. If you did miss out on pink cotton, um, it is still available fall, winter in laundry. Haven't tried it on laundry, but can you imagine your clothes smelling like this? That'd be so good. Yeah. I imagined it for some reason to be a sweet so scent. I was just imagining it's it. More, I mean, there is a sweetness. Um, but it's definitely not taken over the bar. Yeah, it's more like clean. Yeah, clean. Um, fresh, so like I one. would guess this will probably come back. Same with Bonfire Beach oh, because yeah. people just love both of those scents. But you never know. That's why I put them in club. Okay. It's my insurance in case they don't come back. This one, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep in my club. Um, I like it. But I don't love it. I, I I like it, but I could probably live without it. But I don't think it's gonna come back if I had to guess. Wow, it's, it's a, a very one. like love or hate type situation. What is? What and is it, it is in the fresh category, oh. and it is inhale exhale. Okay. So inhale exhale is described as search for inner peace with salted citrus, calming freesia, and solar woods. Mm. So salted citrus, calming freesia, and solar woods. People tend to either love or hate this. I hate it. It's you don't like so it? so bad. <laughs> Seriously? It is so bad. It smells... Seriously? Yeah. It literally smells... I had and this... You won't like the bottom. I had this one <laughs> slime. It was orange and it had clear beads through it. I feel... It used to be down there on the bookshelves, on one of the bookshelves. It smelled exactly like that. It was so horrible. I think it was like rotten or something. 
It this was so like bad. smells like rotten slime. Yes, rotten slime <laughs> with, that's orange and had clear beads in it. Oh my goodness. It's so, so bad. So, um... I did warm this one time, a full bar, my open concept, and it was a great performer. It is a very strong scent when you warm it. So watch out, Maddie. No, don't um, warm it. The other thing with this, I was going to say, is it was the scent of the month in January 2020. And I think a lot of people were surprised that it made it to the catalog. So people like Maddie probably don't want this to come back. So bad, no. Um, I'll let you guys know once I warm it again. I liked it, but like I said... It's not something that I could never, you know, I, I could live without it if I had to. That could change after I warm it, though. I could definitely live without it. I appreciate it. Um, scents <laughs> that do well with one bar of my open concept, and this was one of them. Next one is scent. Oh, my um, gosh. This is in the floral category, Maddie. Oh, sun-soaked petals. Sun-soaked petals. So this was new to the catalog um, this last season, spring, summer 2020. I fell in love with this. Like, mm -hmm. the first time I smelled it in a tester, I fell in love. And for me, it's a great performer. But I feel like I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it. Um, a lot of positive feedback on it. I haven't heard that. And I haven't heard a lot of people saying it's super strong either. I've heard some people say it was light to them. But to my nose and in my open concept, it's strong and it is wonderful. I love it. Smell that. Uh, mm, wait. It does have current in it. So if you don't like currants, you know, that could be an issue. But I love this. Like, um, when I smell this in the tester next to, uh, what is it? Here Comes the Sunflowers. I definitely liked this one better on cold. I, I don't like that scent at all. So do you want to read them the description sure. for this one? A uh, newly opened daffodil petals, sunny current, and water mint flourish in the sun. So daffodil petals, sunny current, and water mint. Oh, I do not Maybe like it's that a water scent. Mint. It's unique. I love this a lot, and I really? I am a little concerned that it may not come back next season. So because of that, um, I had to make it. Safe and sound in my club. You like that? Please don't warm it up. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it on a day when you're not around. But then it'll be there for like a week and then you'll be in there and then you want to warm the rest okay. of the bar. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four, five. We're probably getting close here. Six something something. We had 11 items. The total. next one is. This is another one that my friend gave me a cube of, and I absolutely fell in love with it. This is, is it in the fruity category? I bet it's fruity. Okay, I'll look back. It's definitely a spring-summer scent. What is it? But I, I want this all the time, all year. Oh, rainbow sherbet, okay. Rainbow sherbet, or sherbet, however you <laughs> want to say it. I guess there's no R, but I've always said sherbet. Okay. It's classic. Orange zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime. Zing. Just like the real thing. So you have orange, strawberry, and lime. You know, just like the different things that you would have in um, Rainbow Sherbert. Oh, that's here. so good. I love it. And this is one of those scents that just gives me the feels you know certain scents just make you like feel a certain way this just puts me in a good like happy energized mood oh, i love it so much this is good too if you warm it um in conjunction with uh cocoa lime but mm -hmm. this is better than cocoa lime this is beautiful on its own too so cocoa lime didn't go in my club but this did ah oh, i love it love it love it love it just a really sweet rainbow sherbet scent. Doesn't it smell like rainbow sherbet to you? It does. Like exactly? It does, exactly. Um, <gasps> oh no. Actually, I had to go buy some rainbow sherbet after I warmed this the first well, time. Is that why you bought the rainbow sherbet? Yeah, sherbert? so good. Um, love it. I have a feeling that this will come back. I think it was new like a year ago or so. But I have a feeling it'll come back because it is pretty popular. But it, it's a seasonal scent. 
um, for most people. So, anyway, that's in my club, Rainbow Sherbert. You gotta love it. Okay. So, the next one is Happy No Home, which this is part of the Moment by Moment. Oh my gosh, wax collection. Um, if you guys don't know what that it was, we did a video about it, so you guys can also go check that out. Um, I don't believe there's a scent description in there. I think this is still available. I'm not sure. It's not in the catalog. But um, it was like five different scents that are supposed to be like, you know, different moments in life. Happy new home would be when you move into a new home. And this um, is probably the strongest out of all of them. It's a fresh scent. It's a fresh, like, laundry citrus. That's good. So, um, I'm, I'm going to warm this and see if it's going to stay in my club. When I warmed it down here in the basement, it did awesome. And it lasted forever. And I just really loved, I got a lot of that fresh laundry scent. When I warmed it, I had two cubes left after that. And I warmed it in my um, upstairs bathroom. And... What was it? There was something kind of weird in the beginning when it was in that smaller space. I, I don't know. I'm trying to remember. I think it was like a little too much um, citrus for me. But then that wore off, um, you know, like top note citrus kind of warm off quickest. And then I was left with um, more of the base notes, which are the fresh laundry. And that was really nice. So um, I'm actually going to try this next to my open concept. I think it would do pretty well there. They should make and I love laundry scents. Like, fresh category is one of my favorites, if not my favorite category. So, I really, really like this. Um, think kind of like Clean Breeze with a touch of, like, Sunkissed Citrus. And that's what you have here. Like I said, I think these are still available. And this is a really good one. There was a couple that were really faint. A couple medium performers. Yeah. And then this one hit it out of the ballpark and one of them I thought it would be light because one of the notes in it was like sky sky blue or something and I'm like what does that even mean but it's actually it's it's pretty strong um I feel like it'd be good in a dryer disc or washer beads yeah this would be so good in laundry oh that would be amazing in laundry all right Maddie we'll have to put that in the um what just like sunscreen they should make sunscreen sensi sunscreen yeah that'd be so good oh this is awesome well okay so we have actually. one more bar and then we're going to show you guys our half price item um so birthday wishes is the next one which is also in the moment by moment wax collection um yeah birthday wishes so this is basically like a birthday cake. Yeah, definitely. It's exactly like one I feel. Like the batter, the sweet batter. So good. Uh -huh. And it's, so we do have a bar. I should have got it down. Um, Birthday cake? Yeah, I think it's birthday yeah. cake. But I feel like birthday cake is strong. Oh, birthday cake is, yeah, stronger, but not as sweet. No. Like, some people say they get more like a little bit of like a chocolate note in that one. This is just sweet vanilla bakery. It's really, it smells like you're baking a cake. It's really good. And I'm not a big bakery fan. Um, but when I warm this, I was like, this is perfect. Um, I put in a few cubes and then I ended up putting in the whole bar. It was really nice. Um, it seriously smelled, when I walked upstairs into my kitchen area, it seriously smelled like I was baking a cake. Like, no joke. It smelled like someone was baking. And I think this is a really um, nice bakery that I can get behind. I also think it's nice to have on hand to get out as birthday presents. Give someone this for their birthday. How fun would that be? So out of this and birthday cake, I prefer this one. Um, they are different. This one's sweeter, not as overbearing, and it doesn't last as long. I got like a solid day, maybe day and a half. A day? But, well, I'd say two at the most. I mean, really? it didn't really last that long, but 
I think it's kind of like an occasion one. Like you're not just gonna warm it all the time. I wouldn't. So if I was having a birthday party or something, you know, I wouldn't want, it would be something I used for the day. But I can see myself using this more um, like in the cooler months. So good. These new clamshells are mm, hard. Yeah, like I can't I can... even, that one is tough. Hello. Can we, <laughs> Can we even get it out? We're like pushing the cubes down so much. Um, no, we cannot. So we'll just rub it and smell. Okay. Mm. Can mm, rub it. I really like the vanilla in there. It it the vanilla definitely makes the mm. scent. Yeah. A lot. So good. Love it. So, that's birthday wishes, and that was probably my favorite out of the collection. Mm -hmm. Not quite as strong as Happy New Home, but it was my favorite just because it's a bakery that I actually really enjoy. Okay, so that was our regular bars. So, with Scentsy Club, you once you hit $60, you can get a half-price item. You can get anything from a light bulb to a whiff box to a brick to a... Uh, filters for your air purifier, which those just came out. We'll talk about that in a different video, but um, it's it's a really good deal if you can get something for half price. So I try to get something, you know, that's gives me the most bang for my buck. And a true love of mine would be Luna. Luna. And not just a regular size Luna. A brick. Yes. I love me some bricks. Look at that. And so look like, at this compared to the size of a bar. It has special designing, this one, because it's you got it from Scentsy Club. Like, look at it. Yeah, so the ones with Scentsy Club, from Scentsy Club, they say Scentsy Club on them there. And then show them the back. It has the new clamshell style with the different um, icons for the different scent notes. The bricks are about five and a half um, bars worth of wax. And so they're normally, okay, Bricks come out for special occasions like holiday. We have holiday bricks. The only time you can get them year round is through Scentsy Club, the only way you can get them. So they're $24 in Scentsy Club, which is still a good deal, but I got this for half off. So $12, so that's a price of two bars of wax for five and a half bars worth of wax. Look at this, oh my goodness. It's like the size of my head, the size of Maddie's head. Wait, are you ready? And Luna is a beautiful scent. It's a bestseller. It's the only floral to make it um, into the fall winter catalog. Um, it's been around since 2011 and it's about a medium performer. But now that I have a whole brick, I, mm, I'm i gonna put it, actually, I'm gonna do an experiment and put it in every warmer in my house at the same time. Every see, warmer? Yeah, and see what it does. Cause I have a whole brick so I can. Even mine. Mmm. Look at all that wax. Oh, and the scent's so good. So one cube, the cubes are obviously bigger. One cube is about like almost four regular size cubes. <gasps> oh. Um. You want help? And the bricks are all hand poured still. Oh, uh, you're gonna like rip it off. Okay. Maybe don't do that. Yeah, maybe we. Yeah. Cause it's like all together from the heat. Yeah. Oh, but it's different. a whole lot of wax and it's a whole lot. so in Scentsy Club you can get bricks in the best selling fragrances and Scentsy just announced that starting August 1st so right now in Scentsy Club there's going to be five there is five new fragrances best selling fragrances um two that stuck out to me are Jammy Time yes. we love Jammy Time one of our favorite scents um Besides it's, Ursula, of course. Yeah, uh, it's like my <laughs> number two. And then uh, Johnny Appleseed. And the thing about some of these scents is they make really good mixers. So Johnny Appleseed would be a great brick to get in the fall because you can mix it with a lot of different fall scents or have it, you know, an alternating warmer. So I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to get Johnny Appleseed or Jammy Time next or both. But, um... Yeah, that's a great one to have year-round in a brick. 
And so let's see, there's like Sunkissed Citrus. Um, oh, that one's been around. Um, Coconut Lemongrass has been around, but Squeeze the Day is going to be a new one. Um, I can't think of the other ones offhand, but yeah, there's like several now. I think there was 12 before maybe, and they added five. I should have had this in front of me to tell you guys, but, um, Scentsy Club is worth it just to be able to get the bricks. And like I said, there's no obligation. So you could just get like a brick and actually you could cancel any time. You know, you're not under any kind of contract. There's no cancellation fees. So if you just want to get a brick, you could do that. I don't know why you would cancel the club though. Cause it's, there's so many great benefits, but you could. And get it again. Yeah. And I cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is my um, brick of Luna. I'm so excited. I can't wait to just, now that I have a full brick, I'm going to dive into it and I'm just going to like fill my mm -hmm. house with this. So, um, okay, we're back. I'm sorry, you guys. I feel like my last few videos have been like different ones chopped together, but we had a surprise in the bottom of the bag. Let me make sure that was the only one. Yeah, we couldn't really tell because of the ice pack in there, but we had one more bar sand sweat. This was also new to the catalog this um, last spring summer and it is a beautiful scent. I think if you like um, like now and zen it's kind of along those yeah. lines but it's a little bit different. It's really fresh. It's in the citrus category but it's really fresh. So let me just tell you what's in here really quick. Um, this is described as blue ocean water breaks on the coastline over sandstone, driftwood, and pink lemon groves. Um, so I had to add that to my club. So now um, my, my club order is complete and um, just had to share that last part with you guys. So thank you so much for joining us. If you like this video, please <laughs> sorry, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and turn on post notification bells. So uh, you'll get notified every time my mom posts a new video. Bye for now. Not forever. Bye, Bye. guys.